welcome to the John Report. I'm John. Here's my report. Boxer Greg Haugen of Auburn has confirmed suspicions that he smokes marijuana. Officials began to suspect Haugen when he dashed out of the ring between rounds saying, I'm just going to run down to 7-Eleven for some munchies. <laughs> Como TV news anchors Kerry Brock and John Siegenthaler have been spotted holding hands and feeding each other food at local restaurants. Prompting, mm, prompting Como to consider changing its slogan from We Are You to We Are Nauseating. <laughs> a group of people lined up early in the morning to interview for a hundred jobs with the Washington State Ferry System. Ferry officials sent them all home saying anyone who cares that much would make a terrible ferry worker. <laughs> Curbside recycling will be extended to all homes in unincorporated areas of King County. Residents will be asked to separate their recyclables in two piles. Copenhagen and Old Milwaukee. <laughs> the EPA has found that Hanford intentionally dumped 127 million gallons of waste in the 1940s and 50s. A current administrator at Hanford explained that in the old days, they didn't have the technology to dump it unintentionally like they do now. <laughs> Inmates in prison at Shelton can eat Cap'n Crunch cereal, but they must return the magic spinner they find inside. Officials say this policy is designed to send a message to kids on just how tough it is on the inside. <laughs> There's an auction tomorrow to raise money for the Hydroplane Hall of Fame. There's going to be truckloads of hydro memorabilia. Of course, most of the trucks are expected to break down in the first lap. <laughs> well, the new owners of King TV are here this week. They seem to like their new station and the Pacific Northwest. However, they did ask if it was just them or is Renton really a pit. <laughs> After giving a speech at, the, at a private resort near Blaine, former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher will visit a local supermarket. While there, Thatcher will fire a number of employees. <laughs> UW men's basketball coach Lynn Nance has placed part of the blame for poor attendance at the games on the media. Nance says that despite his reprimands, they insisted on reporting the correct scores of the games. <laughs> Mount Lake Terrace firefighters had to crawl over a mountain of beer cans to put out an apartment fire last week. Firefighters say that's not unusual in Mount Lake Terrace, but they were surprised that they weren't generic beer cans. <laughs> Finally, a Portland City official just settled a sexual harassment suit for $20,000. He now lectures on how other men can avoid getting sued. The title of his lecture is, Be Careful What You Say to Broads. This has been the John Report. Thank you.